Hi Saints, I um, want to share something with you real quick. Um, first, I want to remind you to stay grounded in Jesus. Um, as you can see, Bible prophecies fulfilling around us. Things are heating up in the Middle East, in Syria. I have reason to believe that that's going to be the battleground for World War III. I believe we are in World War III. Um, read Revelation chapter 9. I'm not saying we are in the six seals. That's not supposed to happen during the tribulation. But I believe that um, what's happening now is preparing for the worst to come. So make sure you're covered with the blood of the Lamb. Also, I had um, several Muslims. I know you're seeing me do videos about Islam back to back. I will talk about deliverance, sometimes relationship advice, as the Holy Spirit leads. But Islam is is the fastest growing religion because it is deception. You know, Satan is out trying to reap as many souls as he can in these last days. And there's only a few servants of us, us true servants of God, which is Jesus Christ. Only a few of us are exposing this deception. Anyway, um... I had a Muslim ask me, why am I not a Muslim? And she tried to preach her gospel to me. And I had several of them ask me, why am I not a Muslim? So this is a response to them as to why I'm not a Muslim. Um, I don't hate anyone. And I'm going to try to make this five minutes or less. I don't hate anyone. I love everyone. It's the sin I don't like. But, um, and this is not, um, I don't get my information from the TV or from media because I don't even watch TV. I took it upon myself to research what Islam really is. I read the Hadith. I read commentary on it. I read the Quran. I went into my prayer closet with Jesus Christ about this religion. And I have been shown that this religion is utter deception. There are many contradictions in the Quran that I've covered in prior videos. Look at my videos on Islam. I'm not going to get into it in this video. And, um, the Muhammad is not even referenced in the Old Testament or the New Testament, except the part where Jesus Christ warns about false prophets. Um, the Quran promotes a lot of violence. Uh, kill Christians, kill the infidels. If they don't yield, kill them, kill them, kill them. It just promotes hate and murder and, and allows the men to beat their wives. It's in the Quran. I've seen it for myself. Um, it teaches about hating your fellow man. And I'm thinking to myself, if... If this is what God promotes, the God of Islam promotes this, then how is it that he deserves my worship? Because if I'm worshiping him, then I'm worshiping and supporting all of these atrocities that he commits, that he allows. What kind of a God would allow these atrocities? What kind of a sick God would allow for innocent men, women, and children to be murdered? Or for... Um, a child to carry a gun and, and become a suicide bomber or for um, man to be stripped of their free choice of the, of the right to choose a, a, um, their path if they want to follow this religion or not or the right to free will and women are just uh, oppressed they're not treated right they're treated as second-class citizens I told you that their testimony is not valued at all it's worth that of half of um, a man's testimony. A woman cannot defend herself. She has no rights. You know, what kind of God would support that? I told you about how Muslims can lie if compelled to. Um, they allow bestiality, homosexuality. Um, they allow uh, necrophilia, pedophilia. And again, I read the Quran and the Hadith and um, they also uh, call their God the greatest of schemers. And, and Muhammad was a pedophile and a sinner. Jesus Christ never lied in his life. And he still he never lied, never sinned. He speaks about truth, about love, loving your fellow man. About a man loving his wife like she's the crown on his head. About submitting to it. He doesn't teach about hitting your wife or slavery or... Um, killing those that don't submit. You don't see Christians killing those that refuse God, who is Jesus Christ. 
you know, they're going to pay that price when they're standing before the judgment seat of Jesus Christ. Christianity promotes truth and light and love. Jesus Christ is the only way. And I look at the two religions and I see what Islam promotes, which is hate. And then I see what Christianity promotes, which is love. Jesus Christ is that perfect love. And then in Islam, you know, you have a God that supposedly knows one language, which is Arabic, has the Quran, Quran, whatever you call that filthy book, in Arabic, and then has a prophet, a false prophet, Muhammad, that can't read or write. So how can he prophesy these messages that supposedly Allah gives him? And how is he supposed to get that message across to, to the others if people do not know Arabic? They're not going to understand. And then the Quran explains this by saying that they don't have faith to understand Arabic. You have to learn the language to understand it. That doesn't make any sense. They don't have faith to understand it. That sounds stupid. So the Quran um, is obviously man-made. It's written by the devil. And um, it's written by Muhammad. He changes the Quran to fit his needs, to, to satisfy his lustful desires. So Islam is not a religion of peace. How can a religion of peace say kill the infidels, kill the Jews and Christians? You know, it's false. There's inconsistencies. And I have seen Bible prophecy come to pass and come into pass now. And I've seen Jesus Christ personally. So, who do you think I'm going to believe? I mean, Jesus Christ never lied. And then you got the Quran denying the, the gospel. Based on the testimony of one man who's a pedophile, Muhammad. And... Then you got Jesus Christ who never lied. Muhammad is a liar. He encourages people to lie. Jesus Christ forbids it. I've already explained to you about a righteous deception. If you're going to tell a righteous deception, it has to be to put yourself at risk to save somebody else. That's it. But the Quran teaches you to lie if you want to lie, if you feel compelled to. The Bible doesn't teach that. Jesus Christ died on the cross. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ mentions that. And then Muhammad denies the, um, the gospel. So who am I going to believe? A pedophile who's a habitual liar, a murderer, suicidal, a rapist? Or am I going to believe Jesus Christ who was God who has never lied or sinned in his life? Even to this day. Jesus Christ is eternal. I'm going to believe Jesus Christ. The Bible doesn't even mention Muhammad. The Quran says, like I told you before, if you want to um, judge if the Quran is true, Go to the Torah and and the and the Bible. The Bible is part of the the Torah is in the Bible. Go to the book the book of the people, which is the Jews and Christians, meaning the Bible. So, if you go to the Bible, the Bible totally denies the Quran, because the Bible talks about the gospel of Jesus Christ and the Quran denies it. So, if the Bible talks about the gospel of Jesus Christ actually happening, then that means the Quran is a lie. So, there's your answer. That religion is deception. And I can't follow a false God that allows violence and hate. I can't. The God you Muslims worship is sick, sadistic, and a pervert at that for allowing that false prophet Muhammad to marry a six-year-old girl. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's my answer. I am proud to follow Christ. I am not part of any type of denomination, but I'm proud to follow Jesus Christ. All glory, praise, and honor to the God of Abraham, who is Jesus Christ. Um, the, the Muslims believe he's just a prophet and that he's less than Muhammad. Meanwhile, Jesus Christ performed miracles and Muhammad didn't do anything. Muhammad's a perverted sinner. Jesus Christ is above Muhammad. Muhammad's just a, a man. He's rotting in a grave. And Jesus Christ is sitting on a throne. Stay well. And remember, these are the last days.